Welcome to Guitar 101. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about basic guitar chords. This is an A chord. Notice where the strings have an open circle above them. Those are the strings that you're going to strike. That's the A chord. You try it. See if you can play an A chord. Now the B chord can be a little bit more complicated than the A chord. The B chord requires you to take your pointer finger and take it on the A string on the second fret and bar it. That means you need to press down, then you're going to cover the rest of the strings. Next, take your ring finger and form that A sound that we learned about earlier. Let's try it. The G chord requires you to put your pointer finger on the A string on the second fret. Your middle finger goes on the low E string on the third fret and your ring finger goes on the high E string on the third fret. Let's see how it sounds. Now let's talk about the C chord. Your ring finger goes on the A string on the third fret. Your middle finger goes on the D string on the second fret. And your pointer finger goes on the first fret on the B string. This is a C chord. The D chord is a pretty chord. Take your middle finger and put it on the high E string on the second fret. Take your pointer finger and put it on the G string on the second fret. Then take your ring finger and put it on the B string on the third fret. Now remember, if it has an open circle, you can strum. So we are not going to strum the top two strings. That would be the E string and the A string. Let's give it a try. Now the E chord, you use all the strings on the guitar. You need to put your middle finger on the second fret of the A string. Take your ring finger and put it on the D string of the second fret. And your pointer finger is going to go on the G string of the first fret. Give it a whirl. The last chord we're going to learn about is the F major chord. Take your index finger and hold it over the first fret on the B and the E strings. Then take your middle finger and hold it over the second fret of the G string, and take your ring finger and hold it over the D string of the third fret. Give it a whirl. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to connect with us. Check us out at Teachers Pay Teachers. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our Pinterest page. Hop on over to our YouTube channel where you can check out many exciting videos like the one that you've just seen. And check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com. See ya!